Welcome to the day in the life of a high school earth science teacher. I usually start off my mornings pretty much the same every morning. I drop off my stuff, I put anything in the fridge that needs to go in the fridge, and then I take out my computer, make sure it's plugged in so I don't forget during the day, and check any important emails that I have. Um, and I'll respond to those ones first, but anything after that I'll respond to later after my chores, which you'll see now. How's everyone doing today? Let me get you the slideshow. Oh, and you know what? Let me put my headphones in. All right, so I just finished up with my um, fifth block class. Um, today's a B day, so we have blocks five through eight, and we have them for about an hour and a half each. Um, in the mornings, we have advisory for about like 15 maybe 20 minutes um, and during advisory we cover um, really what's going on at the school so it could be today we talked about homecoming but it could really be about anything advisory is nice because um, the kids are, are kind of more aware of, of uh, different features at the school and different things going on um, then I have study hall next um, I do go into a different classroom because um, I have a teacher on a cart that comes in here and um, will uh, teach from my classroom. Um, so I will go into someone else's to do study hall. And then, um, <laughs> what do I have going on next? And then I have planning for seventh. And what do I do seventh? Um, <laughs> to, I don't, okay. I was supposed to go into a meeting, but I think the meeting got canceled. I don't know. Where's my calendar? I'm very tired today. Okay, so. No, okay, so that, that meeting is still happening. 
So during my planning, I usually head to the library because again, someone's in my classroom. Um, so I usually head to the library. Um, I also sometimes go into my prep room because if I'm meeting with a student, um, I try not to be in the library for that in case they have something going on or if someone wants to read. I'm just gonna try to wake up a little bit before study hall. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. All right, so I'm sitting in the um, prep space right now. I was supposed to have a meeting at 1240 and went into the Google Meet. There's no one there. I check and apparently now it's 140. I don't know. I'm just going to switch when I'm eating lunch. So I'll eat lunch now and do the meeting at 140. Um, I finished my, I finished grading the formal formatives. Um, let me show you what I had wrote down because I also need a reminder. <laughs> Day is it? Oh my gosh. I have a paper clip here and I still take like 50 hours to get there. Anyways, um, I wrote that I needed to grade the formal formatives, did that. I added comments to my peers discussion, did that. I read the article for my test, did that. I did not sign up for my next class. Um, I feel weird about paying for it at school because with the Wi-Fi, I don't know who can hack that. Anyway, and there's some smart kids here. So um, I think now I might create, this is my planning before that was study hall. So I got a whole bunch done, but now this is my planning. So I might go through and create the oceanography lesson now. So I basically finished up the oceanography lesson, lesson for um, next week. Um, I still have to do like exit tickets, um, bell ringers, things like that. Um, I actually don't know if we have an exit ticket, but anyways, I'll, I'll make those later. Um, my meeting's about to start in seven minutes, so I thought I would take a break. Um, I was debating eating. I don't know when my meeting's gonna end. But I'll just eat lunch after and it'll be good. So anyways. Um, Alright, so in case anyone was concerned, I did put my hair back up so I do look a little bit more professional. Um, but we're having some difficulties right now, which will happen. Um, especially if you're doing something in an online setting. Which I, I will admit, I do like this much more. I feel like it gives parents, students, and teachers a little bit more... Ease, I would say especially parents because they might be working and they they can take um, They can do a meeting during their lunch break or something. So I do like this. There's just a lot of Issues technology issues. We can't figure out who's the host um, people aren't joining um, We need the special education person. I don't really know what his role is um, So what we did was we all exited out and resent a new link because the link was not allowing certain people to get in because the host wasn't in, but we don't know who the host is. So we're gonna try this link. Hopefully it works. It's already been 10 minutes, so. 
Okay, so that was really quick. Um, it was just a parental... I actually don't even know. I, I've never really done any documents with special ed, but um, it's just a general, general meeting, so it didn't take too long, which was good. I think they have to have them every year. Not quite sure. Um, ooh, wanted to show you outfit of the day. Starting with the earrings. I got these from Target. They, um, I think were on clearance for like $3. It's crazy. Um, shirt is from J. Crew. I think that was like $10. I got this necklace off of Etsy. I highly recommend the shop. They come in these cute little, um, pink boxes with like a magnetic flip up thing. So cute. This is, I think, $40 or $45. Um, and then. I put the shirt over my um, old navy dress and the dress comes all the way up to here and it has like two spaghetti straps and sometimes I'll wear the dress just as is with a jean jacket but I've kind of worn it a lot <laughs> recently so I wanted to make it a little bit dif different. I just twisted, oh I gotta hide that part, the tags, I just twisted up the shirt and clipped it and then put it over that and then you can't forget the Birkenstocks. Don't mind my nails. They're gross. Um, I love my Birkenstocks. Oh, and then a jean jacket from J. Crew, which you saw me wear earlier. So, yeah. Oh, it's already going? Uh, I don't know if you can tell how tired I am. I've been, like, just so exhausted in my videos all day today. They're probably gonna put you asleep, so if you're having trouble sleeping, I highly suggest you watch this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, seriously? Yeah. <sighs> Alright, yes, I am sitting in my bathroom. I am editing this video now. Um, I live with my sister, so I'm trying not to wake her up because it's basically midnight. <laughs> I really want to get this out on time. Um, but I realized that I don't explain <laughs> what's going on or I don't fill in the gaps. This is probably just because I'm a new YouTuber. It sounds weird even saying that. Um, but after the meeting, I just finished up with planning. I ate a little bit, um, but my co-teacher, not uh, co-teacher, my, um, co-worker, there we go, came in the room and he said while he was in my classroom teaching, his kids came over to the tank and saw my hermit crab attack one of my fish and eat it. So I have been losing fish left and right. And my, they're not terribly expensive, but still, I mean, $11 each basically, like that's kind of expensive after a while when it adds up. Um, Anyways, I've been losing fish left and right and I had no idea what was happening to them. Not gonna lie, I kinda thought someone was like taking them out of the tank because I couldn't find any dead fish anywhere. Now I know why. The hermit crabs were eating it. I don't know why that didn't come into my mind earlier, but yeah, that's what happened. So he, he uh, came in the room to tell me that. So I, I kind of got a little frazzled and forgot to update you all, but a vlog started and here's the next video of me explaining that poorly. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. Um, work was okay, not too bad. Had a great eighth vlog, kind of felt like I hit my flow there. Um, probably because it was the fifth time I was teaching it, but uh -oh. yeah, so I'm gonna figure out what to do for dinner tonight. Probably pizza because Fridays are pizza night. Um, I'm gonna see if Below Deck is on. Um, I already have my Tuesday, thir or Tuesday, Wednesday lesson created, which is nice. Um, and just have to go from there. So not too much planning. A review on Friday, which is probably just gonna be um, some SOL based questions. Um, that I can get from JLab. If you're a high school student and you're trying to study for your SOL, do JLabs. If you're a teacher trying to make your kids study for the SOL, do JLabs. Uh, they're really great. You can 
um, choose what science subject you want. I think actually you can do math as well and English. So if you're a math or English teacher and you're just watching this video because you like me, thank you. Um, <laughs> um, no, JLabs are great though. Again, you can choose the SOL questions you want, like or science. You can choose how many questions you want to do. So what I've been doing is I will make my kids do five J Labs in the morning. This was a couple weeks ago. I'd make them do five J Labs in the morning. And then um, we'd increase it when we got closer to the SOL. And ours is in just a few days, May 3rd. Um, so yeah, I would increase it. So now in the morning they're doing 10 or um, um, if we don't do them in the morning, I'll make them do them at night, and, or not at night, um, at the end of class, and maybe I'll make them do 20. So, um, yeah, it's a really great tool. I actually have a competition going. Um, at the end of a J Lab, you can, there's a number that you record, um, and I make them copy and paste that number into a Google form, and, um, uh, I make them put the block that they have me so it creates a pie chart with each submission so all they have to do is tell me their name tell me the block that they have me and um, copy and paste their um, their number that they get at the end of the J lab um, and that's their submission so it creates a pie chart of all the submissions and um, I look at the blocks that do it because the block that wins I, I told them that the block that wins gets to watch a movie whether it's like Ice Age or Jurassic Park or Moana something that's kind of earth science related but a little bit more relaxed um, and then the classes that don't oh my, <laughs> I keep going over bumps and my camera's like shaking one second I'm at a red light I can fix it um, the camp, uh, the teams that lose um, or don't get as many submissions will have to. Um, oh, let's not come on. There we go. The teams that lose will have to do a minor summative, so something like a, um, like a homework, basically. So that was a really good drive. I also told the kids that are in person that I'll bring snacks and drinks and whatnot, and um, they like that as well. What they don't know is that every class is going to watch the the movie but the the team that does not the team that wins doesn't have to write up something and i think i'm going to make the write up um uh describe one part of the movie that's related to earth science i'm going to make it super simple um yeah because it's their sol they did it congratulations um so everyone's going to get to watch the movie but the winning team just doesn't have to write anything up. Um, so yeah, J Labs are awesome and it creates a fun competition. Um, everyone wins in the end. Oh, and you can choose the type of question. So not just, oh, I wanna do an earth science test. If you wanna focus on specific, um, what do you call those? Oh, specific standards or specific sections of you're learning like earth and space systems or materials or astronomy well, that's earth and space um, human interactions you can do all that you can click each one you can even click which year SOL you want the questions to come from I just choose them all but yeah so kind of cool and I highly recommend doing it I'm on my way home now and hopefully we're gonna eat some pizza we might just do roasted vegetables though because we have a lot of those but I hope that everyone has a great day I'm approaching a red light so I can look at y'all um, I hope that everyone has a great day um, if you're a teacher I hope that your lessons went smoothly or that you're able to learn from them um, yeah I don't know so thanks for stopping by thanks for watching I really do appreciate it if you like today's video give a like subscribe all that good stuff Put a comment below, whatever you want. Anyways, bye.